Hello everyone, this is Ari from Tech with King and I'm back with another new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Windows 10 in your Android using Limo PC Emulator. So without any wasting of time, so let's get started. In my previous video, I have already shown that how you can run Windows 10 in your Android using Limo. So this is the another video and this is the another version of the Windows. So actually this is the Windows 10 Remix and I'm going to run this in Limo. So first of all, you have to download the Limo PC emulator the download link in the description and the second thing you have to download the windows 10 io image file so the file is in the zip so you have to extract it in your android and the zip file will be in 780 mb and the main image file will be 1.80 gp so make sure you have much uh, storage in your android so it will be approx to 2 gb so you have to download this uh, image file the download link in the description so this is the limbo in my previous video i have already made lot of videos on this topic that how you can run windows or linux in your android using this limbo you can check out my channel there are a lot of videos on this topic so this is the limbo just you have to click to a uh, new you have to create the new machine and name this machine i am giving this machine to windows 10 remix so I just click to create and user info interface you have to just select to sdl so CPU model, uh, I always select uh, Cordio, so I'm, I'm selecting Cordio and CPU core will be 4 and RAM. Uh, RAM will be depending on your smartphone. So I have 4 GB RAM in my Android but only uh, 1.5 GB left. So I'm going to select the 720. So it will be 700 MB RAM. Uh, so to the RAM is totally depend on your Android specifications. So after setting all the settings in the limbo then you click to play button if uh, limbo will shut down so make sure that you have to decrease ram the default in ram a lot of uh, subscribers comment me that if they click play button it, uh, the limbo will be automatically shut down the reason behind is the ram they have selected lot of ram that, that's why the android could not handle it so make sure you have selected ram depend on your uh, android to your smartphone and you can try uh, two to three uh, times to select the perfect time for your Android and Limbo. So after uh, selecting the RAM, you have to select the hard hard disk A and just click to open. And you have to select uh, the Windows where you have downloaded. So just select this and VJ Display STD, let it STD and select boot from device. Uh, click to hard disk and make sure the high priority is uh, checked as you can see this is the high priority make sure they have this is checked and we have done all the settings uh, in the limbo now you have to just take click to play button uh, first of all i am going to landscape the phone it will so let me just turn on the screen rotation and turn the phone and set up the camera and come back again so just now i have to turn on the screen rotation in my android and turn the phone into landscape mode and set up my camera so i have done all the settings so make sure you have uh, done the same setting in your android phone or you can change the ram depending on your uh, smartphone specifications you can change ram and processor also so after setting all the settings in your limbo just you have to click to play button Will be take approx 10 minutes to fully load windows 10 in android so as you can see the booting is starting it may take some time you have to wait just for 10 to 15 minutes then after it will be fully loaded
So as you can see in the screen, the Windows 10 has been fully loaded in Android with running Limbo. So as you can see, Limbo PC emulator is running and it will showing uh, welcome the new hardware phone. Just, just it will saying to install uh, drivers. So just click to next. You can connect Windows or Linux with the Ethernet internet. There is an another procedure uh, I, I show in my future videos. So please subscribe to channel for the future videos to get and click to bell icon for the notification. So I, I try to show in future videos how you can enable Ethernet internet in any OS of uh, Windows in Limbo. So this is the Windows 10 fully loaded in Android as you can see. So let me just show you some of the features of this Windows 10. So as you can see, uh, the developer have provided some softwares like uh, uh, Power ISO, MPCB. So this is the video player and this is the uh, Windows uh, uh, DVD maker software. So this is the another software they have provided thanks to the developer they are providing the windows 10 for the limbo at first attempt it takes some time to load any software so the internet will not work in this but in my future video i try to show how you can enable internet in any os of the limbo boot very quick fast so this is very fastest and quick uh, uh, windows if you have good ram uh, in your android with good processor so it will work very fast so if uh, you enable the internet then you can download and install any software in this windows 10 so as you can see i have selected only 700 mb and still it working very quick and fast if you selected uh, the 1 gb ram or 1.5 gb so it will work very fast and quick and if you have a very good processor in your android then it will work very quick and fast as you can see this is the task manager So this is the my computer i already told it at first time it takes some time but after it will work very quick and faster and you can also uh, add drive and share folder you can also access uh, your for internal storage in my future video i show how you can do that and there are some of the softwares So this windows is very quick and fast uh, you can easily run in your android uh, if you have a very good configuration phone so as you can see it will opening software very quickly Some of the softwares are included uh, in this windows so as you can see let me just show you so ms uh, mpc notepad power iso paint cmd So this is are the some accessories of this PC. You can easily use the mouse yeah, as you can see with touch and if you want more option of the anything just you have to use your volume buttons. Volume up button for the selecting, volume down button for the more options as you can see.
so as you can see i have just now opened the command prop cmd of this pc and it's working and i have and just now i have opened it so there are a lot of uh, softwares in this windows have included you can check check it out all are opening perfectly for the internet and internal storage access i try to show in my future videos subscribe to my channel and click to bell icon for the future updates that i can show how you can enable internet and how you can access your internal storage in limbo this windows have became your personal pc now so if you want to shut down this pc you have to just uh, click to this back button and click to this three dots and you have to click on the pause vm so it will be going to pause this window and after if you want to open just to let me just show you how you can do this so you have to just uh, click to pause vm and it click to pause so it will be saying paused vm is now paused tap to ok to exit so just click to ok so it will exit so as you can see the windows has been paused and we have uh, again get uh, into the limbo so as you can see this is the limbo and if you want to continue from there you have to just uh, select the windows uh, of your windows machine and as you can see it will showing paused then you have to click to play button so again it will open from there where you have lived so this is very good thing of this uh, windows and limbo so anytime you can access your windows but did not require to boot again and again if you get uh, internet and internal storage access so you can do lot of thing in this windows in my future video i try to show that so as you can see the windows 10 is fully running in android with limbo so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel click to bell icon for the future updates like this video share this video if you're getting any problem while running this windows in your android let me know in the comments i try my best to fix that problem